Hello, friends. Welcome to this month's episode of the Being Candescent Health and Wellness Show. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, producer and host of the show and publisher of its sister publication, Being Candescent Health and Wellness Magazine. It's an honor to introduce you today to Ashley Febbe, Executive Director of Infant Massage USA. Along with other members of her organization, she is featured on the cover of Being Candescent magazine, the spring 2024 issue. And on this episode, we'll explore how she helps thousands of new parents and grandparents understand the art, science, and power of infant massage. Welcome, Ashley. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. So glad to have you. It's been a long time planning this. And so finally, today we are here. And before we launch into our Q&A, I want to tell the audience about you. Ashley is passionate about generational change in often overlooked communities. She is proud to have started the SEED Scholarship, which makes infant massage education training more accessible, focusing on immigrant and low-income communities. She has a bachelor's in marketing from Oklahoma State University and a master's in leadership and management from Oklahoma City University. And for more than a decade, she has worked with nonprofits, including the Muscular Dystrophy Association and the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Amazing stuff, Ashley, really. And I want to tell the audience how I got to you. Um, yeah, please so, do. <laughs> so, so my friend, Christine Perez, um, has been a neonatal nurse for decades, and recently she did her doctorate on how infant massage impacts NICU babies, especially those babies born addicted. That was her dissertation, and you, all of our audience members can meet her in the spring 2024 issue of beincandescent.com. Her passion led me to sign up to be an infant massage educator, a program that I'll finish up this month, hopefully, um, and that I can add to my repertoire as a licensed massage therapist so I can teach more families about the art and science of infant massage. It's such profound work and you're gonna learn all about it today. So Ashley, let's get started. Tell us about this ancient practice that is alive and well. Let me just start off by saying Vimala McClure, she's the author of Infant Massage, a Handbook for Loving Parents. She was the, the mother of this. So talk about the organization that you are now the executive director of. So I came on in the role in 2020, 2020. And during that time, I've been able to see so much happening and so much growth in the organization. But my favorite part is still when I'm invited into the training and to see the parents and or caregivers connecting with their baby, right? And like just that intimacy that's there and the attunement and attachment, attachment that's happening. And just to see like the baby and the parent all in their own world, right? Of just love and um, it's beautiful. Um, so we have around 50 trainings a year which we train 700 students in the education of infant massage, and we do them all around the country. Um, so it's been exciting to see the growth happening, and to be a part of to be a part of it. So I was so interested to learn that as infant massage educators, it's just that we don't touch babies. We teach parents and grandparents, whoever the primary caregiver is, to massage their baby, and we use a doll to demonstrate. Ta da! There's a doll. What is your doll's name? Emma. Emma. My doll is Christopher. <laughs> Very cute. And um, it's really, it's profound. So talk a little bit more about the program, how it works, and what these 700 plus teachers a year learn. Yeah. So our program is four days of training and it's a lot more than just about the strokes. Right. Um, and so many people are like, oh, so you just do, you know, massage strokes. And no, we do so much more. It's about the cues of the baby and learning from the baby and picking up, um, you know, what what does this mean when your baby does this? And when your baby makes this sound, how how can I help, you know? And being able to then take that information that you've learned about parent education to the parent. And one of the primary reasons why we don't train on, like the educators don't train on the baby is because of that bonding and intimacy, right? The bonding that is happening between the baby and the parent. And um, so, yeah, we don't ever touch the dolls. I mean, we touch the dolls. We don't ever touch the babies or massage the babies. Um, and that's an important thing to note because everyone that comes up to me is always like, oh, so you do infant massage. And I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> we teach the parents how to pick up, um, you know, cues and 
and uh, also do the strokes as well. Yeah, it's really fascinating to go through the program because you learn the six cycles of the babies from sleep to crying and how what the exact time is when you want to do the massage on the baby. Listening to the baby say, you always ask permission. Is this okay with the baby? And the exactly. baby That's knows what really you're Yeah, because it's respect, respecting the child and bonding with the child, listening to what it's trying to communicate you, to you. And also the power and the importance of them crying. I mean, they're talking to you in this important way, this communication. And like everyone always says, oh, babies don't come with instruction manuals. They actually do, right? <laughs> like it's in them and they're communicating it to you. And we also, um, we go from Vemma McClure's book and her, um, she has a 15 point curriculum that she created. And that is mainly what, you know, takes up a lot of the education is it's going through those curriculum points. And it's really in depth. And I took the training about four years ago and I was, I was skeptical. I'm going to be honest. I was like, how are they going to teach me this? And then turn around and meet be able to teach that to parents, right? I was like, I don't know how they're going to do this in just four days. And um, lo and behold, I get in there. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm they like do it in a way that it's very interactive, right? So it's not like you're in class and you're just like taking notes and you're very serious, right? Like they like engage you. They make you think about um, the research articles to like back the science of what they're saying. Um, and then they bring in parents, right? The last day they bring in parents and you all take a little, all the students take a little segment and you are the teachers, right? You are the ones providing that education to those parents. So I was amazed that they were able to turn me around in four days to be able to do this. Um, and I'm just so blessed to be able to have the opportunity to take that training. Yeah, me too. It's really profound and it's beautiful to talk to to see those moms and dads touch their infants and how they really are connected to them, the parents that come to these classes. I think um, this is a whole new generation of parents and a whole new generation of kids that are, are going to inherit quite um, a, a bit of challenge um, in the coming decades. So touching them so early is really critical. And that's part of the science and the research. Talk a little bit about that. There's so we have a database that has over 2000 articles on all the research that goes into infant massage. So it reduces child abuse. It reduces postpartum depression in the mother. It um, like helps the parent, primarily like the father, become more involved in that child's life. Um, there's so I mean, I could tell you all day about all the, all the research, um, but it's just exciting to see that we are having um, you know, the research to back what we know. No, it is. And on your website, infantmassageusa.org, there is a ton of resources and all that research is up there. And I pulled um, a half a dozen articles by some of your teachers who talk about that, including my teacher, Jody Wright, who talks, who adopted a whole bunch. I mean, I think she has five kids, four of them she adopted. So she has and she nursed them, which I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, I learned so much from Jody. She's amazing. Yeah. She launched um, a breastfeeding line of clothing. clothing. Just mm -hmm. a remarkable, a truly amazing woman. Honor to to know her and meet her. Um, and also with the research and education part of it, we do have a conference uh, where we have twenty speakers come in and talk about the science of nurturing touch. So we have Kevin Nugent, we have Ashley Randolph, we have. Um, Dr. Gear, Christian Baum, and then we have Sue Carter. And those are our keynotes. And then we have uh, 16 other speakers coming in and talking about the science of nurturing touch, whether that be um, reducing child abuse, whether that be uh, the oxytocin factor. There's so many key elements um, where they're coming in and just enlightening how infant massage education crosses over. And now yeah. here we are in 2024, and you have thousands of infant massage educators actually and it's a, it's an international organization so talk a little bit about that and how the u.s chapter fits in so yeah so there's over 70 chapters and um we have an international rep who meets with the aim and um we all kind of you know i meet sometimes at the uk chapter or with another um chapter and we just kind of gather ideas from each other and um 
you know, share that with our members. Uh, they have a GA every two years where they all come, a general assembly where they all come together and they have researchers come in. Um, they have special topics that they're working through. It is, it is a much larger organization than just, you know, the U.S. Um, and we're so happy to, to have them um, be our our parent, right? Um, but with the U.S. chapter, we have a lot of um, unique opportunities. I love it. It's really amazing. Well, if you type in infant massage, you come up first on Google. So, oh. <laughs> so that's good, good. news. Um, <laughs> and trying to help parents understand the profound connection that they are making with their babies. It, mm -hmm. For many parents, it's a need. But you're, as you're saying, in these uh, um, other kinds of communities where maybe it's not as there isn't family or there isn't others to help this ancient practice, right? So what mm -hmm. Vimala put into this is um, a mix of Indian massage and Swedish massage. Swedish. Because mm -hmm. in one direction, you go toward the heart in Swedish and in, in, in Indian massage, you go away to pull the energy out. And it's this combination. So um, as a massage therapist and also a yoga teacher, I have this tremendous respect, as as all of the trainers do, I know, um, for the program that she's created. And as you said, it is really simple and profound, and it doesn't take forever to understand how these strokes are. But what's amazing is it's a five-week program. So once a week, we work with the families as instructors, and we slowly get the baby incorporated into being touched in this way. So we start with the legs and feet because that's really all they can handle in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. They're super new and like just learning, I'm in a body now, what's going on here? And so <laughs> we're, we're helping the parents make connection like that. Then the baby usually falls asleep. And then the second week we move on to their digestive system. And it's this process that by the end of it, the parents feel more comfortable the educator obviously has bonded with the group and the group is bonded together because they're talking about what it's like to be a parent with a newborn, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So either you're a first time parent or grandparent, or you are, um, maybe it's even not your first baby, but it's this understanding how the baby works. And, in, and then the research shows the impact of this just being so remarkably profound. So I'm I'm so in love with this program and I'm so excited to be part of Infant Massage USA and the more the global organization. I would love to work in Europe. So let's see how, <laughs> how I can play with you guys a little bit more. So as we finish up, tell us a little bit more about how people can become uh, an, an infant massage educator and also how parents can get involved with the organization. Yeah. Um, so you can go to infantmassageusa.org. Um, and on there, we have our trainings up and we typically have them for six months out, right? So you can look on if they're in your area. We also have um, a virtual option as well. And then for parents, we have um, where you can click on parents that'll have articles for you to read. Uh, we are just launching our parent newsletter where you can subscribe to that, where we have um, activities that you can do with your baby that, that are simple. We have the trainers come in and answer questions. Um, so yeah, that is an option. We also have our conference coming up where you can read about that and how people can get involved. That's to open to the public and to our members. So both. That's fabulous. Well, I encourage everyone to check out infantmassageusa.org. Definitely go to this conference, June 7th. It is only $85 and you will learn so, so very much. Infantmassageusa.org has all the information. And I encourage all of our listeners and viewers to check this out and become an Infant Massage USA fan pass it on. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley, for your beautiful time today. You are in New Hampshire. You just got hit by a ton of snow. So stay warm and safe. In spring. Yes. <laughs> in spring, right. It's April 5th as we're recording this. So thank you to our viewers and listeners. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, host of Be Incandescent Health and Wellness show, the Be Incandescent Health and Wellness show, and publisher of beincandescent.com, our health and wellness business magazine. So we will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful day and massage your babies. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.